Now that the crucial St. Louis mission is out of the way, I'm able to clue you in a bit more about what the bigger picture is. It appears a corporation called A Better Tomorrow is training and more importantly supplying illegal weaponry to fringe paramilitary groups around the United States. The corporation is spearheaded by a man who is known only as Jeremiah, and I haven't been informed of what Fittica thinks his motivations for all this are. But it seems this man is a consummate professional at his work, so much so that Fittica saw fit to create the Damage Incorporated team to help end the situation as quickly as possible. It's from a better tomorrow that both the White Paladins as well as the Minute Militia have been receiving their weaponry and training. Did you see those guys with the dual MP5Ns in St. Louis? Those are Jeremiah's shock troopers. I'm afraid you'll be seeing a lot more of those, some even more heavily armed. You can tell their ranking from the color of their high-tech body armor. But intelligence isn't sure which colors mean what, so this information is actually useless. Who says military intelligence is an oxymoron? That's all the information I can give you at this time. And to be frank, it's nearly all that I know. Intelligence has uncovered an organization operating out of Nebraska, which is also receiving illegal weaponry from Jeremiah. Known collectively as the Militias of Nebraska, this organization was just recently formed out of a collection of secret cells in Nebraska who all wanted to obtain weaponry through a better tomorrow. The secret cell system of militia organization, also known as Leaderless Resistance, was first developed by subversive groups in the early 90s. It's a way of keeping different groups of militiamen separate from each other, such that if one is found out and disbanded by the government, the rest can survive. As of right now, we've uncovered just one secret cell in the MON which we know to be in possession of illegal weaponry supplied by a better tomorrow. Your first encounter will involve invading their compound and confiscating any illegal weaponry you find. In addition, search the camp for any information that may lead us to other groups operating under the militias of Nebraska umbrella. Though these men will certainly be well armed, it's very important you only return fire and not instigate firefights. We're here for information and weaponry, not to pop caps in every hick we see. But be careful, too. It's quite likely that they will open fire when they first see you on their land, and you will have to defend yourselves when they do.